In Cambodia, life expectancy is only 60 years old. 40% of the population is living below the poverty line, and there's only 0.16 doctors for every thousand people. Um, what you find usually is that people work in silos. They don't have the data they need at hand. Uh, they don't have good data to make decisions. They can't work in real time with the people that are just beyond their reach. SARS, for example, bird flu, swine flu, uh, they're coming out of this region because there's lots of goods and movement and travel, but there's not a lot of interconnectivity in terms of information sharing. This area of the world is particularly at risk for these new emerging pathogens. The origin of uh, diseases that can become pandemic. There is no them when it comes to international pandemics. What happens in rural Cambodia affects people in San Francisco just as much. Instead, is at that, that nexus between technology and society. It's right there in the middle, bringing it together. And what we do at Instead is really look at the context and the real motivations of people and try to give them tools that they can shape. GeoChat is a tool that allows teams, distributed teams, to communicate and collaborate and report information, receive alerts um, in situations in which they don't have access to internet. So it works through SMS, receiving and sending text messages. We have the name of the disease, the onset date, the admittance date, age of the person that's sick. It allows um, their teams to report information to the headquarters. It allows the headquarters to send out alerts to people in the field that don't have a way to stay in touch otherwise. If you can access information about uh, medications, about prevention, when you're in the middle of this chaotic environment where people that you care about are suffering right in front of you, then you're able to respond quicker, more efficiently, and therefore reduce suffering and, and save lives. Consider this, if we know that disease at the early stage, if we can catch it, we can contain it, we can stop disease from spreading. Each uh, of these cats represents a, a user story. I'm feeling proud of myself of doing that work, actually. I can feel and I, I can see that I've done something, and I've seen the people impact from, from what I've done. The work we're doing here is based around um, the iLab, which is our capacity building and sustainability component where we train local developers to use our code base and then customize that and build off of it. The work at the iLab starts with field design where real users are in real contexts and dealing with real problems. Um, it starts with listening and understanding and understanding from a local perspective. We join hand to develop our country. This is the benefit that I can uh, earn from instead. Uh, besides uh, working with team, I can work with community. Technology is cool, it's great. I want to learn, I want to learn more, I want to help people. But we actually, uh, we do not love technology directly. But what we love, we love people. Technology is just a tool that can help us to show more about our love. It's very exciting to see something that's developed that um, is actually saving lives and just a fantastic thing that the people who developed it are people who just a few years ago barely knew anything about uh, advanced programming and have now created this amazing tool. We've worked in Thailand, Cambodia, Haiti, Latin America. We've worked all around the world and we're hoping to scale to work in even more countries. While some people are working on the leading edge of helping civilization, like space exploration and so on, others have to be working on the trailing edge, making sure the unspeakable suffering that's going on around the world is brought in. 
I chose to work on this side. We all know that sometimes evolution actually occurs in a short period of time. And I believe this is one of those times. And instead is really right there making that happen.